so far we have defined complex exponential function which is kind of uh, uh, the first uh, elementary function that we defined uh, using the idea that we are going to define the complex versions of elementary real valued functions okay uh, the next function that we are going to study is basically the logarithmic function okay? now we know from real analysis that there is a relation between exponential function and logarithmic function in fact they are inverses of each other now we we are going to see uh, whether this strategy is going to help us in defining the complex uh, logarithmic function or not okay so the question is how do we define this logarithmic function okay so uh, whether we can define it as inverse of exponential function or not okay but there is a there is a problem in the complex case and the problem is that the complex exponential function is not one to one function okay so why this creates a problem okay so the problem is basically very simple if we have complex number let's call it z1 the image of this complex number in w plane is going to be some other complex number let's call it w okay now we know that from our uh, knowledge of uh, uh, complex exponential function that if we take another point which is uh, z1 plus iota 2 pi then the image of this point is going to be exactly the same point w and if we take another point which is z1 plus iota 4 pi then the image of this point is exactly going to be the same point w and similarly whenever there is a, a distance of iota 2 pi between the two complex numbers then the image of them is going to be the same so there are infinitely many points having the same uh, real uh, component but the imaginary component is basically uh, distributed like this there is a difference of 2 uh, 2 pi between any two uh, consecutive complex numbers okay so in fact iota 2 pi so infinitely many numbers are going to the same number w so all of these numbers are going to the same number w now the point is if we want to define the inverse if we want to consider that uh, we want an inverse procedure of this complex exponential function uh, and let's uh, let's call it a logarithmic function Okay. so is it possible to define such function because according to the definition of the function a function is a rule with the help of which each element of a set a is assigned to a unique element of the set b okay now in this uh, uh, scenario in this scenario uh, if we define this uh, uh, inverse function of this exponential function then corresponding to this w there are in fact infinitely many elements okay so if we go back from w to uh, this uh, uh, from w plane to the z plane uh, to define the inverse function then this w is will be mapping on infinitely many numbers in the w uh, in the z plane okay so uh, to uh, to solve this issue we define multi valued function okay so what is a multi valued function so it is basically a kind of generalization of a function where each element of a is not assigned to a unique element but it can be assigned to more than one element so for example uh, on the screen we can see a function where one is mapped to a two is mapped to b and three is mapped to two elements instead of one element now the point is according to the definition of function it is not a function but it is a multi-valued function which is a kind of generalization of this concept of function now uh, coming back to our situation uh, we cannot define uh, this uh, uh, single valued uh, logarithmic function which is the inverse of exponential function but what we can do is we can define this multi valued log function which is going to be the inverse of exponential function okay because uh, exponential function will uh, can map many 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 elements onto the same point in the w plane so uh, the inverse of that which is the multi valued complex logarithm will take that one point to that infinitely many points in the z plane okay so and the definition is the same log of z is w if and only if exponential of w is equal to z okay so they are inverses of each other now multi-valued logarithm is inverse of exponential function so once again if this is the exponential function e raised to power z then all of these numbers okay so uh, if let's say this number is z1 then this is z1 plus 
out of 2 pi this is z1 plus out of 4 pi and this is z1 minus out of 2 pi so all of these are going to be mapped onto the same number in the w plane Okay, so all of these are going to be mapped on the same plane. Now, if we want to define the inverse of this uh, uh, map, okay, so let's call it log. Okay, so if we want to define this thing, then log of w is going to be equal to, for example, uh, this z1, this uh, z1 plus uh, iota 2 pi in general. Okay, so in general, this is going to be equal to, so uh, z1 plus iota 2n pi. Okay, so it, these infinitely many elements are basically the image of this one element W under this map of complex logarithm. Let's try to find the exact image of uh, some element W under this uh, complex logarithm. Now, as we define it using uh, the fact that it is in, fa uh, in inverse of exponential function, so we need to know that how did we define exponential function. Okay, so exponential function is given like this and we discussed that if we calculate uh, the exponential value of this complex number then it, it is always going to be w okay if we apply a uh, log on both sides so log of w is going to be equal to so log and exponential they will cancel out each other and what do we get we get exactly the same thing okay so uh, and then uh, this gives one uh, way of defining uh, the log the logarithmic value of any complex number w so it is basically uh, the natural log of the modulus of w so this is basically a real number the modulus of any complex number is a, a real number and over here this natural log is basically uh, the same log as we have seen in the real analysis case and uh, this is the argument of uh, uh, w the argument or the principal argument of w and this is added over here 2 and pi Okay, so uh, just to make sure that uh, we are getting all of the uh, images of this uh, W under this map of log. And if we denote uh, the domain uh, by Z instead of W, then we get the following definition of uh, the complex logarithm. It is the uh, uh, natural log of the modulus of Z plus iota, the principal argument of Z plus 2 and pi. Now, this principal argument plus 2 and pi can be written in the way that it is just the, ar uh, the argument of z okay so it depends on the situation so from situation to situation we will see uh, which definition to use either we can use this definition or we can use the next definition now uh, the multivalued complex uh, logarithm has a problem that it is multivalued so that's why we cannot discuss some basic properties uh, that we defined for single valued functions so for example we cannot check continuity, we cannot find the derivatives, etc, etc. So what we do is, to solve this issue, we define an associated single-valued function uh, associated to this multivariable, uh, multivalued uh, complex logarithm. And the idea is very simple. Uh, we define uh, this uh, multivalued complex logarithm in a way that it's a natural log of the modulus of z plus uh, iota argument the principal argument of z plus 2 n pi now if we take the value of n to be equal to 0 then we get a single valued uh, complex logarithm and uh, we denote it by principal value of the logarithm and uh, we denote it with this capital L instead of small l it will be denoted as capital L log of z is going to be equal to once again uh, the real part there is no change in the real part it is just uh, the natural uh, log of uh, the modulus of z plus iota the principal argument of z and there is no 2 n pi now so it is a single valued function okay so what is going to be the domain of this uh, principal value of the logarithm so the principal uh, the domain is going to be the set of all non zero complex numbers because uh, we we know that uh, in the range in the image of exponential function there is no zero so that's why the inverse of that will not contain zero in its domain now uh, what is going to be the range of this uh, principal value of the logarithm so it is going to be equal to natural log of z plus out argument of z there is no condition on the first or the real part of this uh, z because uh, uh, the log of uh, this modulus of z could be any real number 
okay so uh, if you vary these complex numbers these non zero complex numbers because we are only applying it on non zero complex numbers because for zero uh, zero is not in the domain so if we calculate uh, this thing then it could be any any real number but there is going to be constraint on this the principal argument of z and what is the constraint so the constraint is that it must lie between pi and minus pi and over here pi is included and minus pi is not included so that's where the argument of z lies okay so uh, what does this imply so this implies that the range of uh, this principal value of the logarithm is going to be equal to set of all complex numbers such that the its image sorry the imaginary part of this uh, uh, w lies between pi and minus pi okay so uh, let's say this is the z plane and this is going to be the w plane and we want to see the image values of this function which is principal value of log okay we want to see this thing now once again this uh, zero zero is not in the domain so it is uh, dotted and it is not included okay and secondly when we apply this principal value this log on the entire complex plane apart from this uh, origin then we get values that lies between minus pi and pi okay so this is minus pi and this is pi and over here pi is included so it is solid line and minus pi is not included so it is dotted line so all of the values of this uh, principal value of the logarithm uh, lies between these two lines okay so it is going to be somehow it is going to be a strip okay so between minus pi and pi and uh, varies uh, the real part varies from minus infinity to infinity so uh, log z this principal value is a single valued function from non zero complex numbers to the fundamental period strip okay so what is the fundamental period strip so fundamental period strip we define it when we were discussing a uh, complex exponential function so we defined that it is basically the set of all numbers from minus pi to pi the imaginary part lies between these two points here my, uh, pi is included minus pi is not included and all of the numbers in between them so this is the fundamental strip and uh, all of this uh, real parts are included okay so it is a kind of a infinite strip okay where the imaginary parts lies between this uh, minus pi and pi so from here uh, we can uh, say that basically this exponential function okay and uh, if we if we restrict the domain of exponential function to this uh, uh, fundamental strip then it is one to one okay so exponential function which is basically in general not a one to one function but we if we restrict the domain of this exponential function to this fundamental period strip then uh, it is going to be one to one and the image is going to be this uh, entire complex plane apart from origin okay so the origin is not included if we calculate uh, the value of uh, this principal value of log then uh, uh, when we apply this on this entire complex plane apart from zero then we get image to be elements in this fundamental uh, period strip okay so that's how uh, they kind of uh, match with each other the exponential map map uh, all of these elements from fundamental strip to the non zero complex numbers and all the non zero complex numbers are mapped under this principal value of the logarithm to this uh, fundamental period strip okay so uh, that's how they are kind of matched and we can say that this exponential map when restricted to fundamental period strip is inverse of the principal value of the logarithm uh, when we say inverse by our knowledge basic knowledge about inverse function it says that both of these compositions that we can see on the screen both of these compositions are going to be equal to identity now we know that the principal value of logarithm is defined as the natural log of the modulus of z plus iota the principal argument of z also we know that when we apply this exponential map on numbers like this complex numbers like this then it is always going to be equal to w okay now let's use these information to calculate this uh, composition of exponential and principal value of log so this is going to be equal to exponential of so let's use the value of log over here so which is uh, given over here natural log of modulus of z plus iota argument of z now according to this information this is going to be z now this is true for each and every value of z n but over here the value of n is zero so that's why we can still use this fact over here and it is going to be equal to z 
so the composition of this exponential and the principal value of log is going to be equal to z so it is identity now similarly we can prove that the other composition is also z so that's why we can say that exponential map when restricted to the, this fundamental period strip is inverse of the principal logarithmic value of log okay and uh, we have also proved this fact by calculating these two compositions okay so in fact we have found basically using this fact we have found a kind of single valued logarithmic function which is kind of inverse of exponential as well okay now let's calculate in this very simple example uh, the value of uh, logarithm and the principal value of logarithm of this complex number okay now um, uh, over here what do we need to calculate okay so z is basically 2 plus out of 2 okay so we want to calculate what is modulus of z so the modulus of z is going to be equal to 4 plus 4 which is going to be 8 which is going to be equal to 2 square root 2 okay and uh, we also want the argument of z okay so it is basically 2 plus out of 2 so 1 2 1 2 so somewhere over there so this is 2 uh, okay so this is 2 plus out of 2 okay now um, basically uh, we can see that uh, the principal argument is going to be equal to 5 by 4 so the principal value of the argument is basically equal to 5 by 4 okay and uh, so what is going to be value of the principal value of the logarithm of this complex number z which is basically 2 plus out of 2 it is going to be equal to okay so log of 2 square root 2 plus okay so uh, iota and pi by 4 so this is the principal value of the logarithm and in general uh, the log of 2 plus out of 2 is going to be equal to log of 2 square root 2 plus iota pi by 4 plus 2 and pi so there are infinitely many uh, outputs of uh, the value of log of this complex number so in this module we have uh, defined uh, what is going to be multi-valued complex logarithm function then we also uh, defined uh, the principal value of this logarithm and then we check that if we restrict the domain of exponential function to the fundamental strip then uh, this principal value of the logarithm is inverse of that restricted exponential function now this information is going to help us in uh, finding other properties of complex logarithm function